What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today we are back in GTA 5, taking a look at some pretty interesting news for GTA 5 PC. Now, back on GTA 4 on PC, we had the ICE Enhancer mod, and that mod was probably one of the best, if not the best, graphics conversion mods, not just for GTA 4, but just across the board. Absolutely insane uh, graphics conversion mod, and the crazy, well, I, I say crazy because it pretty much is crazy, the actual news that actually came out of that was found from a Facebook post actually made on the actual ICE Enhancer page talking about how there are uh, there are full plans for a for a, uh, a version of ICE Enhancer to be released on the PC version of GTA 5 or rather released for the PC version of GTA 5. Now what that means is really really close to hyper realistic graphics. I mean GTA 4 with the ICE Enhancer mod was ridiculous enough, but on GTA 5, it's going to be absolutely, just absolutely insane. There's no uh, no telling how 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 much detail they're going to be able to go into with that actual conversion uh, for GTA 5 on PC, especially if you have an extremely powerful machine that can handle stuff like that. There's going to be so much you'll actually be able to do with it that just for people that like to capture uh, insane screenshots, like if you're just somebody that likes to do really gorgeous looking screenshots, then that's pretty much, that's pretty much heaven for anybody that likes to do that in GTA for, for them to be able to have the ICE Enhancer mod uh, on the PC. Now, I think the biggest thing though, uh, at least in my opinion, is when they start to combine ICE Enhancer with, uh, with car mods, like realistic car mods, that's when GTA 5, to me, is going to be at its best. That's when GTA 5 is going to reach um, its, I was about to say its peak, but I mean, it, it, I wouldn't call it, I wouldn't quite call it its peak. I would kind of call it more of its, uh, more of one of the plateaus that I think it'll definitely reach throughout the PC version's life cycle. And yeah, I was trying to back the thing out of here. Doesn't work. Doesn't work at all. Um, and it just looks really weird in first-person view. Oddly enough, this thing has the same same exact interior as the Sand King. But, um, totally different, uh, conversation there, though. Now, to, I think, other than the ICE Enhancer and whatever else comes along as far as the realistic cars and everything like that, whatever else comes along, I feel like those two things are really going to tie the game together. Because GTA V Next Gen looks great already. That's the thing. It looks so good. So much better than GTA 4 ever did. And if you look at what the ICE Enhancer mod did for GTA 4, you realize how am that's only when you that that's when you actually realize how ambitious they actually are for or the developer actually is for wanting to to release ICE Enhancer for GTA 5, because G the PC version of GTA 5 is going to look just as good, if not better, in its stock form than the next-gen console version, which is also extremely sweet in itself. I can't wait to get my hands on the PC version. I think it's going to be sweet. I can't wait to see uh, how it plays, how it runs, and I mean, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to handle it with my uh, GTX 980, but I uh, I don't know. Hopefully, we'll we'll see. But my that was actually one of my biggest uh, one of my biggest I guess you could say plans as far as when I um, when I got this PC uh, in choosing that particular GPU was because I wanted something that would be able to run GTA 5 on PC at its maximum potential, especially with something like the ICE Enhancer mod added in on top of it. So definitely excited for uh, where we're actually going with. Um, with GTA 5, and it's nice to see that there's a, there's a real community there that really wants to step up and, and mod the game once it actually releases. So, again, definitely excited for the future of GTA 5 on PC, and I wanted to give you guys that little bit of an update on the, uh, the ICE Enhancer mod and everything like that. I'll actually uh, link the Facebook post in the description below so you guys can check it out. But um, if you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more, and I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.